Um, so if you're having hip pain, I would say first is get a diagnosis uh, from a PT, physio, or a doctor who has a lot of experience with athletes and with hip pain. Um, I would try, if you have the option, try the non-surgical approach first. Obviously, you know, see what the doctor says. If it's you're in a loop barred situation where the hip is just completely obliterated, you have zero cartilage, it's like, okay, you're probably going to need surgery if you want to keep playing at some point. Or in 10 years, you're going to need hip replacement anyway. Like, you're going to have to make a decision. That might be, a, okay, we just need to do what the doctor suggests. Um, but if you have that, uh, that option and it's not at the point where it's completely debilitating, um, the non-surgical approach, uh, I think the FAI fix is a really good, uh, you know, easy option for the average person to, to try and to implement. They do a great job with those videos and explaining like how to do tissue work in layman's terms, how to do different activation and strengthening work in, in layman's terms. Um, so I think that's a great starting point, addressing all the, those different factors. Um, you know, from there, you're going to have a couple different options if you do decide to go the surgical route. Um, my biggest advice would be to find find the surgeons slash facilities that are going to be world class. They're going to have the most experience in this procedure or in your sport. Um, my experience, there's a big difference, and this isn't just for hip surgery. Like this is working with athletes. Um, a big difference between like whatever the local surgeon you have in your hometown and like the best guy in the world or the best guy or two in the country there's a lot of times a big gap between those just like you can go to your you know physical therapist down the street or you can find the best physical therapist in your entire city like there's going to be a massive difference in terms of uh in terms of the outcomes there potentially in terms of how they handle the rehab recommendations the post-surgical uh, medication guidelines all that stuff um so for me uh and having gone through this a bunch now um the two places that are probably worth going to uh if you can, if you can make it work. Uh, the Stedman Clinic in Vail, just very professional, um, very clean experience, start to finish. And then the Hospital for Special Surgery in New York. Um, again, they're also really known for pushing the envelope and developing a lot of these procedures and fine tuning a lot of these procedures. Um, I had my resurfacing with Dr. Edwin Sue. Um, Dr. Kelly is in New York as well. And then uh, Dr. Philippon is is at the Stedman Clinic in Vail. Um, so, I would certainly say those those are like the world class renowned uh, places. If you're going to get a surgical opinion, um, it's probably worth the extra expense, travel, whatever you need to do to to do it right. If you're going to do it, and then the resurfacing, uh, again, it's a new new but promising procedure. Um, Andy Murray was talking about it in his documentary where you know he was basically like, you know, tennis isn't just a game for me. Like this is like this is my life. Like this is way more than a game, and that's that's really how I feel about it. So like. I'm willing to do what I need to do to try to get this right and to try to play and try to throw again. So yes, it is kind of a, a scary, like alarming procedure, like how, what they have to do, all the you know, damage they're essentially doing to your body to try to fix it. Um, but for me, I think that risk is, is worth it and that's the decision I made. So we'll see how the next six, eight, nine months go. Um, you know, this is kind of the, the end of the line as far as if this doesn't work, like there isn't any other option for fixing the hip uh, that would, enable elite performance at that point you need a hip replacement you're not going to you know return to professional sports with a hip replacement um so we'll see how it goes completely at peace with the outcome whatever it ends up being but i'm going to do everything i can uh, let the cards fall where they fall um so it's it's going to be interesting over the next 5 10 15 years to see if the resurfacing uh, procedure starts to get uh, more popular if they start to opt for it in certain scenarios um kind of makes me think about with with ucl like now it's not just tommy john it's, you know, Tommy John, a full reconstruction, and you also have the uh, primary repair option for partial tears, for, you know, less severe tears. Um, so I wonder if this, this can start to gain a little more popularity as outcomes get better, as, uh, you know, it becomes, you know, performed by more surgeons than just like a select few that do this procedure.